Having completed his A-levels the previous school year, Luke learned that he had been accepted by the University of Oxford. Although pleased, Luke began to feel apprehensive, as it would mean being away from his friends and his mother. He began suffering from nightmares, something he did not believe was possible, and was soon faced with the Nightmare Man, a creature from another dimension who was using Luke's powerful mind to break into his dimension. The Nightmare Man was successful, and placed Luke in a sleep he could not awake from. Determined to plunge the whole world into endless nightmares, he started with Clyde and Ronnie. However, Luke was able to contact his friends in the nightmare world, and together they managed to defeat him by overcoming their fears, making him powerless. The next day, Luke bade farewell to his friends and departed for university, driving an old car of Sarah Jane's she had given him, named Ethel, with K-9 in tow. TV, The Nightmare Man. He would later contact his mother and friends via webcam. The students he befriended at Oxford lived on baked beans and curry, with him comparing it to living with the Slitheen. TV, The Vault of Secrets. He returned home at least once to do some laundry. K9 remained in Oxford, which he quite enjoyed. Luke also visited Mr. Smith and updated the alien files on the Santarans, Mrs. Wormwood, and the Bane. Luke commented on the lack of alien activity in Oxford. TV, SJAF3. Luke returned to Bannerman Road after receiving a message from Clyde, telling him of Sarah Jane leaving. With the help of K9, who had remained at Oxford and communicated via webcam, they discovered that Ruby was a Ketesh. While Ronnie distracted Ruby, K9 used her mobile to reprogram her computer, Mr. White. After finding Sarah Jane, Luke used Mr. White to project holograms of meteors, causing enough excitement in the human population to overload the emotion devouring Ketesh. TV, goodbye, Sarah Jane Smith.